Bonjour ni hao! Welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with Tim's birthday, birthday video. video! Yeah, so thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. My birthday was Thursday, July 8th, and it was a lovely day. John spoiled me, and my friend Tori was really nice to me, sent me lunch. It was amazing. Um, so I didn't feel like opening the presents from Johnny on camera just because like I was in like such a chill mood yet yeah, for my birthday and it was just like eh, we'll just do it like kind of as a haul video. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, so I was working all day um, and actually I had to go into the office so Tim had a like a home alone day <laughs> and was just relaxing all day so. Yeah, I took a nap. Yeah, and then we just kind of watched Drag Race and opened up some presents which were amazing and we had some cake. Yay! And we got, I got Tim's cake from one of our favorite bakeries in Chicago, Sweet Mandy B's. Mm -hmm. And I still am trying to find a cake for Tim, a chocolate cake that rivals Portillo's. Still <laughs> haven't found it yet, but trying. We won't find it. No. But that's okay. Okay, so the first item, if you are following me on social media, on Instagram, you'll already know what this item is. Um, but be sure to follow us both on Instagram. <laughs> Um, but this is a really cute Monsters Inc. sweatshirt, which I absolutely love. It's in the same kind of style as one of the other sweatshirts I have, which is like all the Disney dogs, which is one of my favorites to wear. And this color is so unique, and it has all the gang from Monsters Inc., which it's literally only the six that were in the pins that we just opened. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, we'll link it above and below. Tim's birthday was the day after Monsters at Work dropped. So okay. Monsters are having like a moment right now. Mm -hmm. um, and so like, I thought it was really appropriate. Yeah. So that was super nice. Like your table's kind of small, so <laughs> nothing's in order. So I guess I'll just go with these. So he gave me some Disney ears. Which, these are new, I've only seen these in like, um, Disney, World of Disney, like, uh, videos where they're showing tours of the new merch. So, these are really cute. They have like the, the bow, which is like a fan, which is super pretty. So, if we saved bows, this would be nice, but we're gonna get rid of that eventually. <laughs> and then it has all these really cute bejewels. And then if you don't want to be so extra, you could always <laughs> just wear it on this side with the navy. Love a versatile set of ears. You know, they remind me of like the Snow White like mine train ride with like the diamonds and like oh, the yeah. jewels. That would be a cute bound. Right? <laughs> yeah, so thank you. <laughs> Guess I'll stay in the clothing category. So this shirt is <laughs> super cute. It's from one of our favorite TV shows, which is The Challenge. We watch it all the time. If you have Paramount Plus, there are a bunch of the old ones there that we've been rewatching. So this makes me feel like I'm on a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really cute. We used to actually have shorts with our name on the butt. Because they used to, actually they still they do. They still do, yeah. On the challenge, like all the players have like black shorts with like their name on the butt. And we're like, that's so that cute. That's so cute. So like when we first started dating, probably like our first year or so, we had a maid and they clearly no longer fit. <laughs> but, so now I have this, so I could feel like I'm on the challenge all over again. Yes, and then you can like, <laughs> it'll be fun. <laughs> All right, yeah, so this item I'm super excited about because I got Johnny something similar for his birthday and I wanted it, but I didn't get it for myself. So this is the do 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 <laughs> And I pet Tati too. <laughs> but this is Agatha all along. Do do. Do, do. So this is so cute. I love what the, how they made her animated. 
So now we could be twinning, even though yours is short sleeve, but I love this. I love the print, and Thank like, you. it's, we're coordinating. Yeah, and it's funny, I actually bought the pin that matches that a few weekends back at Box Lunch. I love that style of Agatha too, like that cartoony Agatha too, she's fun. Yeah, it's really cute. And then, he did get me another pair of ears, which, I was opening this and I was like, Something smells, like, really good. And it's crazy because these ears smell like cotton candy. Oh, they do. They smell and so I, good. I used to have teddy bears growing up that, like, smelled like different things. I had a strawberry one. Still reminds me of Lotso every time, like, they do a Lotso smell. And then I had a cotton candy one that reminds me of this. And this was one of my favorites. I would always smell it. That is good. It's so cute. But these are Bing Bong ears. <laughs> Look at how cute. It has his little squirt flower, his button, and then like all these candies that he's crying. <laughs> I love these. And they're not too puffy. So these are from Magical Boutique Co. So I'm gonna put these ones on. Oh, these oh, ones are you. so comfortable. Thank you, these are so nice. Who's your friend that likes to play? Wait. Jamie, Timmy. <laughs> what should I do next? Um, I would say, okay, so the, the rest, most of these are pins, so there's one Funko, so do that first. <laughs> It's hard, okay, so let me tell you a story about this gift. It is so hard to buy Timmy gifts because I think Timmy has like everything already or he's already ordered it and also I don't listen apparently. Oh, yeah. So two things happened. One, the first Funko that I bought Tim was the Cruella in her reveal and he ended up getting that or we got it in our last bivvy. Well because he never told me not to put it on the wish list. Well because that would have spoiled the gift. So I just was like oh I hope I you Well you could have messaged Bibbity and been like hey don't put this in the Oh last. I should have done that. Boy. So then I didn't do that. So then I was out shopping and I I actually saw this pop that was an exclusive there and I was like oh my gosh I should get this pop for him but literally I forgot that Tim told me he pre-ordered it but that was like how long ago like March yeah and it's like July how am I supposed to remember <laughs> things from then and also it hadn't shipped yet so I forgot that it even was like a thing mm -hmm. so I wonder if I could cancel it maybe I don't know but it is, it is hard to buy, because we also are at a point, I think, in our Funko curating where we have most of the pops, like, we know most of the pops that are out. Mm -hmm. And so all of the pops that we want to add to our collection are all future pops. There's, you know what I mean? There's not a lot of, like, actively for sale yeah. pops that we don't have. So it's really hard to buy pops. Well, that's not true, but, like, it's a lot of them. Yeah. But this is from Shit's Creek, which is one of our favorite TV shows. And this is Moira Rose as the crow. <laughs> Just super cute. And it has like the Target Con exclusive. I love pops with unique bases. And yeah, stuff. so this is Moira. She looks like all crazy as a crow and like all the dirt spots and her hair, but this is the coolest part. This is the nest, but this is actually what they use as the stand. Like, it'll actually stay like that once it's all done, which is so cool. And we do have five other Schitt's Creek Pops, so this will be the sixth. <laughs> uh, sh it, it is uh, interesting that like, this was available in the stores, like, yeah, before he, his pre-order got there, which is weird. It is weird. <laughs> and then the next thing, the next section of thing, actually there's this, there's like three personal gifts and then the rest are like pins. So it's hard to buy Tim pins as well because <laughs> I, Tim buys pins and I sometimes don't know what he's ordered so like it's a big guess so it's a lot of like, it's hard. Folks. I don't. It's really hard. I don't buy myself small shop pins anymore. Oh. Like, I only buy lounge fly, like, box lunch, hot topic. That's uh -huh. all I do. Remember that when I used to, like, do every weekend, I would buy, like, pins and pins and pins. And then, like, I the pin would show up. 
<laughs> yeah. So it is, but it is hard to find like new pins. So it's all, but it's always an adventure, especially when I have the joy of when Tim opens it, he actually is like surprised by the pins that I have found. Yeah. Because I feel very proud. Like it's a very <laughs> proud moment for me that I'm able to like shop successfully. Yeah, I wish we had more like surprising reactions in this video, but it's fine. But he actually got some stuff from Shanghai, which. I totally, for some reason, always forget that's a park. <laughs> I always think of Tokyo or Hong Kong. For yeah. Some reason. Shanghai has other, has also good Disney merch. Well, look at this pin he gave me, which is on par with the Monsters. But this is Monsters University, and this is a really cool pin of a spinner, and it has the Monsters University logo, and then it has all of the friends that you could actually spin which is so cool. So you have like the opposing fraternity um, and then you have like the two brothers. I don't really know all their names, but Don, Sully, you know Don. Sully, Mike, and Don. Art. Squiggy, I think one of them, Randall. So I love this so much. And then it does have the Shanghai Disney on the back. Oh, and if you're monsters watching Monsters at Work, like the goth girl from the sorority, Hiss, Hiss is in in Monsters at Work. She got a job, so I'm glad she found work. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the cameos are like are super fun, and also it stars like two of our favorite voice actors, Mindy Kaling and Ben Friedman. Mindy Kaling is from The Office, and Ben Friedman is from a show that we don't talk a lot about on the channel, but we love. Superstore, and so it's and like. And he was in <gasps> Drop Dead Diva. Yes, as my guardian angel Fred, and I guess now you. <laughs> um, but it's so weird because like watching Mindy and Ben like play the roles that they're playing, it's like giving us Office or Superstore vibes mm -hmm. in terms of like archetypes of characters. So to see, hear their voices back in like a similar like environment, it's like really fun. Yeah, super fun. Um, and then he did get me. Also from Shanghai Disney, I did open these, so I'll just show them. But it was a mystery pin box that I haven't got, and I've been like, I saw these and I was like, oh, those are cute. And I never followed up with this. <laughs> it was Shanghai Disney, obviously. But you have like all of these cool options, which like, there's some misses on here. And then, <laughs> Cars. Yeah, and that weird castle. Like, yeah, I don't get that one. I don't know. And then, surprise, we got, speaking of monsters, we have the Mike Wazowski. We have Joy from Inside Out. And then lastly, we have Wally. So it couldn't have been a better box. And that is the back of the pin if anyone cares. So that was a nice little surprise, and you know, I love me a mystery. And Sh I, I forgot that Shanghai does three in a box. Yeah. Which is like even exactly more two. But like, I'm glad that we got, you got ones that you like, that were Those good. are all collections we collect. Yes. And they're a good size too. Yeah. And then um, he did get me this Clubhouse Buttons mystery, not mystery, fantasy <laughs> pin. Which is super cute. It is a mashup, which, you know. We love a mashup. And this is Stitch and Angel as Carl and Ellie, which is super, super cute. It looks like they're actually in Bing Bongs. Oh my um, gosh, yes, that like Red Rider. Yeah. But this is super, super cute. Clubhouse buttons, we'll link them down below. Oh yeah, it even has the little like wings. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. Oh. So it's like a threefer. For, oh, that is. <laughs> and then next, oh, this one is so cute. So I've never heard of this company, Bobby Pins. Um, I don't know, it's on Etsy, we'll link them below. But you never see baby Tuck Tuck. <laughs> and he's so cute. Look at how adorable he looks. And this is our first baby Tuck Tuck pin. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how cute. He looks like Tati when she's behaving. <laughs> so 
so thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I like that Disney keeps releasing new cute sidekicks. Because, like, for Christmas I got you, like, the Bruni ones. Mm -hmm. And so now I can, like, we did Tuck Tuck. So for Christmas this year, I will probably get you a Machiavelli fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then speaking of Shanghai, he did another thing. But I thought I would leave some suspense to this video. So he got the um, Shanghai Pets series. We opened up the American version on our channel. We'll link that video, but these ones are a little bit different. So I think this comes with five, and there are 15 here. So you have Pongo and Purdy, you have Pluto, Tramp, um, Doug, Percy, Lady, <laughs> Friggin' mochi in a box. <laughs> I need that one. We have Marie and the Duchess. Cheshire, which... Oh, stop making Cheshire. <laughs> Lucifer, which we want. He wasn't in the last series. Figaro, which he looks different in this series, so need. <laughs> and then I don't know who that gray cat is. And then there's like, again, Weird Castle. I think it's just a gray cat with Mickey ears. I think it's... Wait, is that one of those like... Is that like Gelatoni or one of those I don't people? Know. It might be Gelatoni, actually. It With like Mickey ears. Yeah. Well, know. good luck. So we'll see. It has a little tear strap. And they're not in blind bags, so. Good luck, Tim. First Ooh. pin. Okay, this is cute. We have Lady. Oh, look at the wind in her hair. <laughs> I'll show these up close after I. Next, we have. Oh, cute. Lil Marie. Aww. She's so fancy. They're like kind of stylized. They're like not mm -hmm. like anime, but like they're cute. Yeah, they're a little bit different than those pets ones. Yeah. Oh, good luck. And then... <gasps> oh, yay! I'm so happy. Okay, I'm so happy that you got like <laughs> the ones that you really Mochi wanted. <laughs> and Mochi was on the other one, but like he wasn't in a box. No, and we literally opened those, and then I saw a like an Instagram post showing these, and that was the day that I ended up get ordering them because I was like, oh my god, they're so cute. All right, good I'm luck. Gonna... Hope you get Lucifer. Oh, <gasps> shut up, Lucifer. Oh, oh, good. Oh. I'm glad that you have good like juju on That's your birthday, cute. like for you that you're getting the like, ones that you want. If this one's Figaro, I'm dead. <laughs> Ugh. Cheshire. But what's interesting is you got more cats than dogs, which is interesting because like yeah. we're definitely like more we love cats. cat people. Yeah, that's interesting. Tati's happy. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, I'm so happy you got Lucifer and Moshi though. Right? Here is Marie. I don't feel like getting the pin board out, I'm lazy. <laughs> and then this will be a traitor. We have Cheshire. We don't collect him. This one is Lady, super cute. And then, yes, Lucifer was not in the last pet series, which is so cute. And then the best one, we have Mochi in a box. <laughs> so cute. I'm glad that those two mystery bags were like, <laughs> yay, yeah. I'm glad that your mystery boxes were like, actually stuff that you like really want because yeah. that that's always hard like when you get <laughs> ones that you don't love so i'm so happy oh yay yes. that's good birthday that was amazing nice all right speaking of cats <laughs> he also i think had this made yeah through shutterfly actually hmm. so it's a phone case of our baby girl tati <laughs> so this is so cute and there's some little pictures of Tati. And then what's nice is where the pop socket is, there's nothing there. So that actually was my design. So they had a bunch of different like templates for how you want to lay the photos out, but I was knowing where we position our pop sockets, <laughs> I was like, this is the way it should look for up to optimize pop socket placement whilst having the most opportune photos. <laughs> yeah, so it's super nice and it's like Really sturdy. I don't have any phone cases that are like super sturdy, so I like this. So, thank you. Of course. 
You're very welcome, dear. And then we have two more gifts in one. <laughs> I can't really show you. You can just talk about it, yeah. I guess. <laughs> so, like, we always kind of like, I don't know, rewatch bad drag race lip syncs. And Miss Mojo just like doesn't get the lists right ever. So we had to like kind of do our own, which you happen to do. We've always talked about it, like, right? Like, we'll sit there and watch lip syncs and be like, oh my gosh, you should do a mashup of, like, all these bad <laughs> lip syncs. So I just edited, I pulled some clips of, like, lip syncs and then made Tim, like, a funny video <laughs> that, like, repeated clips but highlighted a lot of, like, cringy moments from lip syncs. Yes. So let us know who you would put on that list, who your most floppy RuPaul's Drag Race lip syncer is. Because they might be on our video. <laughs> And like, what really confused me is <laughs> he put this in a box with like a QR code and I was like, huh? <laughs> and then it brought me to the YouTube video. Just super creative. Yes, everyone, if you, now that like all, all, most smartphones don't need QR code readers, you just need to, and like a lot of during COVID people started using them more for like menus at restaurants. I was like, oh, that's a fun way to like give someone a gift and like hyperlink it. It's just like, mm -hmm. give them a QR code. Mm -hmm. And it, you can like generate a QR code for free. You just put the link of whatever you want the QR code to be, and then they just make one for free. The more you know. Yeah. And a birthday would not be complete though without a red box. <laughs> so I had to end Tim's birthday presents with a red box. Yes, <laughs> and this is a really like big, like long one, so I was very confused. But he covered it up. Um, we did already open it, obviously, and he didn't know it was my first, but it was my first. <laughs> no, it was my first wet woodland. <laughs> he didn't know this was a white no! woodland. No! Whoopsies. But it's been on my bibbity list for like months and months, and I never thought I was going to get it. And then like, there was another one that I liked too that had the owl in it, but this one is way better. And it's beautiful. It's a white woodland of Aurora with the scene with the owl dressed up as Prince Philip, which are like all my three favorite things. And then you have like a little squirrel guy holding the hat up and look at the owl. <gasps> he looks so happy to be hugging Aurora and she looks beautiful. And then you have some bunnies in the shoes. And what's really cool is like how they make the ground, like all that like white, beautiful texture and patterns. And she has her feet there kind of like, like at an arch. This one is called Playful Pantomime. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. Like a pantomime, if like you went, if you like mime something or like act something out like charades, it's like a pantomime. So like they're pretending to be like a prince, they're like acting. <laughs> but like, oh, this beautiful, beautiful. And this is my first white woodland ever. And this series is so beautiful, like all of them, even like the ones that we don't like collect are so pretty yeah. that like I wouldn't mind getting them you know <laughs> they're so gorgeous but yeah I'm so excited this is definitely gonna go in my birthday backgrounds which oh I love this thank <laughs> you no problem I was really happy to like be able to find that one for you because I knowing how much you love Aurora but also how much you love owls like I just it was like the perfect one and again I didn't know it was a white little end whoopsies mm -hmm. So thank you so much. No problem. For it's my birthday special. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. so happy because you make everyone around you feel so special. <laughs> and I know you made my birthday special. <laughs> and so I am so happy to be able to celebrate you and share that with everybody because <laughs> you are my husband and I love you. Thank you. No problem. Love you too. <laughs> so thank you so much again to everyone that's wished me a happy birthday. It was such a lovely day and of course thank you to John. Um, be sure to be on the lookout. I feel like if this is not posting on a Monday, um, there's going to be a lot of birthday videos this week. So be sure to subscribe and be on the lookout for that. And hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and be well. Give us a like. Bye. Bye.